Hey Collective, it's your girl Infamous Empress Rose coming back to you guys with another general reading. Please like, subscribe, and share my channel. Um, please take the rolls and flip them as need be. If it doesn't fit, please don't try to make it fit. Okay? Um, we have the first card out. It's Gaslight, Manipulate, Control, Influence. Okay? Okay. Spirit, go ahead and give me one more card. What else, Spirit? Give me another card, Spirit. What else, Spirit? Okay. We have Stalker watching. Okay. Oh, wow. So, collective, you can have a motherfucker that's stalking you. Okay. Someone that was gaslighting you, manipulating you, trying to control you, trying to be um, a bad influence on you. Okay. Let's see. That's no fucking good, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we see. I have, um, I seen the lover's card just twice now, okay? The third time now. So, this is definitely someone you're involved with. So, this person could be watching you. They could be watching your social media, um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, stalking you, going past your house, going past your job. Okay. I hate when these cars just get all flipped all backwards. Okay. Okay, let me straighten them out. Okay. Okay. This could be somebody that got some damn issues. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay. What else, Spirit? I am saying surrender, so I feel like this motherfucker need needing to surrender. They need to stop what they're doing. Stop. They need to give up. <laughs> okay? For your ancestors be on that ass. Okay. Okay. I have bad advice. Bad advice, cautious. Yeah, so maybe this person was, like I said, they were manipulating you, trying to get maybe get you to do something that you didn't want to do. And maybe you could have left this motherfucker, or you could still be with them. And like I said, they could just be watching your every move. Let's see. What else, Spirit? Okay. Okay, surrender surrender came out again. So, yeah, this person is definitely needing to just leave you the fuck alone at this point. <laughs> if you left this person, yeah, because they're, this person, we got exposed. This person is about to get ready to be exposed for this bullshit that they're they trying to pull. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we have uh, at the bottom of the deck, new job, career, change. Mm. Yeah, maybe this person could be trying to stop you from going towards this career that you really want, you know? Like I said, something is wrong with this person. Like, they have issues. This person could be someone that's, you know, jealous of you as well. Yeah. If you, like I said, if you someone that's with them, they could be scared that if you, you know, get this career, you know, you could be leaving them. You know, they could be having this idea in their mind because maybe this particular job could be where you make more money. You know, you could be making uh, way more money than them. And they could be afraid of that. You could be finding out this person is uh, watching you. Okay, let's see. Okay. I feel like Spirit is saying you need to be cautious when it comes to this person and, you know, taking their advice. Yeah. You need to walk away from this motherfucker. That's what you need to do because they, they are no good for you. Yeah, we got the Ace of Pentacles because this person could be afraid, like I said, that you get ready to make 
more money you're going after your goals you're going after a career maybe you're like your dream job and they're upset so they can be putting in your head you know not to take this job telling you all the bad things that maybe can happen with the job this could be somewhere something where you you know travel like go overseas or something like that you know yeah we got the death card you really need to put it into this person and start a new a new beginning yeah this person could be saying that 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 is what the fuck is going to happen once you get this job maybe this person could be feel like you're going to be full of yourself like um you can you know lead them on a the back burner like you can forget about them once you get this job okay let's see yeah this person that you involved with i do feel like this person you know have a lot of you know feelings for you and things like that but this person is definitely overdoing their control and overdoing their manipulation they're giving you bad advice being a bad influence in your life and it's, it's not good yeah this person could be <laughs> stalking you like hell like please they like i said they want you every move like please i hope and pray um collective don't leave me you know please don't just you know get this money and get big headed and just forget all the fuck about me you know little old me you know <laughs> yeah i feel like this person is definitely keeping a close um eye on you they watching you like a fucking hawk collective Yeah. You could be dealing with someone that's um, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio collective. I feel like this relationship could be um, toxic. It's, it is. You know, fuck, feel like it is. It's toxic as hell. And you're needing to walk away from the person. You, you seen, I just seen the devil card. Yeah. The Queen of Pentacles. Because at the end of the day, you are independent you're someone that's going to be very successful and like i said this person is mad because once you get this money they feel like you're going to dip on their ass and they can be jealous of your success and jealous of this money that you're about to get ready to come into i just seen the knight of swords yeah you need to hurry up and get the fuck and move quickly from this lover this person could be a gemini as well because that in the end, this relationship is not going to be a happy relationship at all. We got the nine of cups in reverse. Yeah. This is not going to be a good outcome in the end. Because once you get this fucking job and making this money and you feeling yourself, you're confident, you're taking care of yourself, Loving up on yourself, showing yourself a lot of self love. Here go this motherfucker. They jealous, and they ain't gonna be able to take you. So now, I'm telling you, you need to get get your shit and get on because it's not this this relationship is not gonna work. Because like I said, anyway, you're too independent for this person anyway. This person is someone just trying to keep you down, keep you down at bay on their level and no they're not someone that's trying to help you know uplift you want to see you win they don't this motherfucker could be even want to be in competition with you collective and you don't need to be with nobody like that you know you you need to be with somebody want to see you elevate want to see you win why the fuck is this person keep calling me on Instagram. I don't even know. Yeah. You need to move away. You need to pack your shit, like I said, and keep it stepping. And like I said, this can be a situation where um, your job have you um, traveling or you could be being overseas or just moving to another state or anything like that. And it's, like I said, this person is going to be jealous. It's not going to work. 
This relationship is not going to work. <laughs> the devil card again. The world card. You need to walk away. Start a new chapter in your life. And move on from this toxic ass relationship. <laughs> Two cup. Yeah. Move on. Shit. Once you move on from this person, you could be finding out about a new lover when you get to this new job overseas. Um, traveling in another country. You know? You can be finding a new love and getting the fuck from this um toxic ass person. Yeah, I definitely feel like you want to be focused, you know, on this new job. And once you move or um, travel or go overseas and things like that, you're not going to be focused on a relationship. You're definitely going to be focused on your money, being all about your money. And then I feel like this person is going to um, cross your path. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this is going to be something that's unexpected. Yeah, this could be somebody that you're getting ready to, you know, collab with. This could be like a, a co-worker or somebody that you um, could be going into business with or if you get ready to, you know, become an entrepreneur or, like I said, travel or something like that. Yeah, we got the Knight of Cups. Yep. New love. Putting it in to that old bullshit. Letting that go. Because that motherfucker is no good. Yeah. Because this, with this toxic ass person, is going to cause too much stress, too many burdens, and you don't have time for that shit because you got to focus on this um, career. That's what you need to focus on. Yeah. You getting ready to receive um, either an email or a text message in regards to this motherfucking new career. I'm telling you. And shit, this per um, the person that you with, they could have seen this shit before you and finally told you. Could have been checking your email, stalking, watching your shit. And could have knew before you and told you about this email in regards to this new job, this new career, partner up with somebody, and they jump, it's like shit. They mad. But they need to fall the fuck back. Because what's for you is for you. And if they don't want to come on, then they got to get the fuck on. And everybody can't go with you, collective. They can't. On your new journey, your new path. They cannot go with you. So sometimes you got to leave these motherfuckers behind. We got the will of fortune. Because at the end of the day, this motherfucker is a karmic. They are a karmic. And like I said, you cannot take everybody with you. You got to leave their ass where they stand. Okay? Yeah. This is a karmic relationship. And you, you need to gain the strength to get the fuck away from this person. I feel like this career, this job, you partner up, become an entrepreneur, whatever the case may be, is going to be your, your way out to get you out of this relationship with this person. And build a whole nother life for yourself. A whole fucking new life. Yep. Queen of Cups. You could be somebody that has some type of uh, abilities, like psychic abilities or something like that. Someone that's very loving and caring. You know what I mean? You don't you don't need this person. They're not up to par. They're not even on your level. They're not on your speed. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it's going to be too much conflict, too much arguing going on. Because this person, like I said, they're not going to be able to take you because they're not on your fucking level, Collective. They're just not. And I'm going to go ahead and end this reading. Thank you, Collective.